I love that Microsoft finally put this into Windows because it's so nice on Linux and Mac. But let me show you how to make a new virtual desktop. You go down here to the task view and you've got new desktop button. So you can make, eh, let's just add three more. You can add as many as you want. I think you can add up to 255. So if I go back into my task view, you can see that I set up and renamed three new virtual desktops. One for audiovisual programs, another one for work and office, and another one for gaming. That way, I can jump right onto my PC and only deal with the programs that I'm going to be using for whatever task is at hand. So let me show you what those look like. Here's my audiovisual with my Audacity and my OBS Studio. This has got my Word and Excel. And this has got some solitaire and some epic games. So you can set up as many virtual desktops as you want. All you need to do is go back to the task view and create as many as you need to give you as many groupings of programs that you need. If you want to quickly toggle between your virtual desktops, the keyboard commands are Win key, Control, and the right and left arrow keys. Right click anywhere on the empty space of your desktop, go to the view menu and deselect show desktop icons. Ooh, pristine. To bring it back, right click again, go back to the view and then reselect show desktop icons. Okay, this one's pretty fun, but it's a little tricky to set up too. So here we go, we're gonna right click on the desktop, make a new folder, and instead of just giving it a name, we're gonna put a non-ASCII character in there. The best way to do that is to hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and then on the 10 key, not the numbers on top of the keyboard, on the 10 key, type a number sequence like 255. And oh, the name vanishes because we put a non-ASCII character there. Now I'll show you how to make the icon disappear so you have your invisible folder. Go to Properties. When you right-click, Customize, Change Icon. Now, most people don't even have any idea that this is here, but if you scroll through all the possible icons in Windows next to this padlock these are all invisible icons so you just pick one of them click OK and boom it's vanished now if you hover your mouse over it it's still there we can double click it and we can put a new file in here we'll call it super secret file and it's there, you just can't see it on the desktop because it's hidden. Method one, right click in the empty space on your desktop, go to the view menu, and then toggle between large icons, medium icons, or small icons. Method two is a little more fun. Hold down the control button on your keyboard and then toggle the scroll wheel on your mouse. Go up to make them bigger and this is how ridiculously big you can get your icons or you can scroll down to get them as small as you want. So two ways to change the size of your desktop icons. Are you tired of that same old boring default Windows desktop image? Well, why don't you spice it up with a daily new image from Bing with their wallpaper app. So what you do is just do a quick search for Bing wallpaper app. Download the Bing wallpaper app now. 
It's going to kick us out to edge. And we're going to and get an installation file. We'll open up the installer. Let it do its thing. And I'm not going to set any of this stuff as default. I just want to install it. Might take a few minutes. And finito. And it says the Bing wallpaper app is now available in the system tray. That's this guy right here. Let's see what we got. And the picture of the day is cherry trees in full bloom. So just set it right on the desktop for you. You can see where it's coming from. You can learn all about that picture. And this is the default picture right here on the Bing search engine. And every time they upload it, on the home page for their search it'll upload on your desktop it's a really cool way to get some pictures of high professional quality and stop looking at that boring windows default my name is chris waldall i am a certified it professional and have been building websites since 2002. if you got value from today's video please give it a like and share it with a friend subscribe to our channel for more tips and please leave a comment with any questions or your favorite tip for working with a desktop. Have a wonderful day and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.